Uh, let me flip the camera around. Uh, I think I got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm at my office. Um, I'm going to wait for some people to jump on. Hey, what's up, Brian? Um, yeah, you know. Oh, it did? Cool. So, uh, Elite Code 3 here, doing a live here. Um, <laughs> the headset from the Xbox. But what this is is going to be SGC order. It actually came back last week. Um, where's my water at? Who wants to be, uh, I'll, I'll wait till more get in, but does anybody want to be the uh, moderator? Just in case we get trolls jumping in. Hey, what's up, man? I'm not sure how I assign somebody to be the uh, mod. I'll wait, maybe um, JT will pop in. Yankees 213, all right. Do I just... Uh, Click on your name or something? I'm not sure. Hey, what's up, Abel? Um, I'm just I'm not good with the the technical aspect of these videos. Um, this is the perfect time to do like a live stream at my office though, because it's Saturday morning and nobody's here. But uh, Yankees two one three. The next time your name pops up, maybe I click on your name or something. I don't remember. But uh, there's 160 cards in this order. Um, Got the little lapel here. It's a uh, it's typical Elite Code 3 order. It's got all the sports covered. Um, so um, there's a couple really high end cards too. So um, let me try that. Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay, Yankees213 is going to mod for this video. It's going to be about 45 minutes, so it won't be too long. But how many days turnaround? Um, uh, 50, maybe? I think, here, I've got my sheet right here. And I've got the, I've got the data right here on top. Shipped it 410. Shipped it April 10th. Got it back. Um, let's see. Let 10 days ago. <laughs> I've, I've had this order for 10 days. I just haven't gotten around to filming it. Um, so, what's today? The 18th? Got it back July 8th. So, I mean, is that close to 60 business days? But it is what it is, guys. I mean, PSA takes six months. SGC on the, uh, was taking, uh, you know, two and a half, three months. Yeah, I mean, you're just gonna have to wait. It's, I don't know what else to tell people. They've they've gotten slammed. Their 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 business is up like tenfold. So, you know, orders are just gonna take a while. Yeah, I mean. Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera around and let's just go ahead and start. We got like 30 people in the room, and if you if you don't catch it live, you can watch it on the on the playback. Let me flip this around and put this uh, headset on. Okay, so there's like seven boxes here. Um, I think I think SGC does a good job. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Joel. It's nice. Um, <laughs> turnaround was uh, I shipped it April April. What, what did I say? Tenth April tenth and got it back July eighth. So. Whatever that is, 55, 60 days business. Not 90 days total, like not counting business or something. Um, we'll start with this one. Let me shift this over just a tad. There, tilt this down. Okay, <laughs> we got the bull in the bear. Um, what's up, JR? I mean, don't expect all 10s, because I don't send for all 10s. I like 9s. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw the grades. O only because of this. Uh, this is my sheet, so this is where I put down my 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 grades for every card. So you see the nine plus, nine five. Nine plus is kind of the same as nine five. I don't know why I use two different things, but like Mano sixty nine, I had a seven for it. And this just helps me, um, cause I I've been doing this a long time, so I I trust my estimation on the grades. And uh, you know, if a card's overgraded in my opinion, I just sell it because uh, I, I always say it, you know. Collect the card, not the label. All right, here we go. First card is going to be Classic Junk Wax. Um, okay, you mean, I mean, this set's tough, guys. And, you know, I wanted to, to do this live for a while. It's just... How's the audio first before we do this? I, I don't like when I film a video and the audio sucks and the picture sucks. There's a Bonds 9. Um, yeah, I'm like, when I chronicle this or when it uploads to YouTube, it'll be in 720p, so it won't be like 1080, 60 frames per second like my normal videos. <clears throat> 80, of course, there's a, one of these. There's a 9 Griffey. Mint Plus on this one. Uh, they're pretty, pretty generous with this one. This is Lux Gold. See that back left corner? I think I had this as a Mint Plus. Too much white there for me to give that a gem. But they did. Uh, Bichette. Rainbow foil. Junk wax in the tux. It, it, it actually does look really cool. You see that bottom edge. Most of them have that little chipping there. This this card is sweet. You guys ever look look for this card raw? It's always, the edges are always all chipped. But th this one was, I, I don't remember how I got this one. Either a Beckett 9 snap out or I bought it raw. I don't know. But that one got a 9. Uh, here's a Breeze. This one, this is a pretty generous grade. It's off center. It's got a soft corner. I think I had it as an 8 and they gave it a 9. Uh, there's a bunch of these. We'll just sift through these quick. Uh, 2020 tops. Jordan. There's a 10. They gave this one a gold. I thought the other one looked better. Um, I don't know. They they look about the same, but they decided this was pristine, so I'll I'll probably sell the pristine one. Hey, hey here's a uh, Peyton Manning for you, Peyton Manning fan. Ninety eight finest. Which uh, Bo man? Hey, hey, what's up, Nats man? There's Peyton nine. Um, let me get my water before we do all these. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's like a hundred and sixty cards. Moss fan? Yeah, same here. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't had the same difficulty that Bobbles had with, with Series 1. There's a 10 on Jordan. So I don't know if he just got a different grade or what. All right, so this is one that I sent to PSA. This is a really good card, but PSA tried to... Uh, SGC got your order May 4th, still nothing. 53 business days, I mean. I think PSA tried to give this a six, and I was like, that's just, like, I don't know what they do when they when they grade thick cards. They, like, freak out and give low grades, so I snapped it out. Uh, Pete Alonzo, this is the refractor one. Looks pretty good in the tux there. Hey, what's up, Jay? Okay, Bowman Griffs, you got a nine, so, hey, what's up, Connor? Um, you know, these are all, I don't know, pack pulled, I think. They look pretty good. I didn't think they were tens. I think I had these as nines. So the thing with SGC is when I send these older cards in, they're like, 
my opinion and their opinion is on par almost every time, which is cool because there's no surprises. So that at a nine, I had this as a nine. <laughs> I gave it a nine, so it's just crazy. SEC uh, announcement. Yeah, they're going to put a uh, hologram on the case. Like I've been, I've talked to them a long, for a long time about biggest card in the order right here. This is the uh, LeBron Black to 500 flagship. That's insanely filthy. That's an 8.5. Bowman Griffey, yeah. So, um, 8.5. Pujols Bowman, 9. That's sick. These are always chipped up on the back. You see those back edges, and it has chipping on the back, but the front center pretty good, and the front looks really, really clean. Um, so I think that was fair, a fair grade for that Pujols. What do I always say? I don't really care about all 10s. I just want I just want fair grading. Uh, Lamar Jackson optic. This one's off top to bottom. Pretty fair there with that. Assessment of uh, Vlad Tops Chrome and a 10. That's the Tops Chrome, not the Tops Chrome update. A um, couple of Frank Gores. That's your flagships. So flagship Gore. This is probably like a $40 card now. But I picked these up raw for like 2 bucks on ComC. Yeah. It is crazy. I mean, I don't, I don't ever pay for 10, so I don't really know about that. Uh, shipped April 10th, came back July 8th. <clears throat> Here's a, a Lindor draft in a nine. Here's a Cunha. That's the action variation. 2019 in a 9.5. And I'm, I'm not going to sit here and whine and complain about the 9.5s like you do on most channels. I mean, they thought it was a 9.5, so it's a 9.5 for them. Um, Moss. Row one, this is sick. This is the uh, row one grace from '98 showcase. Next box, something we're gonna go pretty, pretty quick through these modern stuff. I'll kind of fly through, kind of boring. Uh, Judgy flagship judge ten. I actually like that photo. Here's some. Uh, Junk wax insert. 94 flare bonds and a 9.5. Pretty cool. Vic, Rookies and Stars. This has a print of 230. That's a mint 9. And that one's kind of, that's a generous 9. I think I had this as an 8. Do you uh, have this judge, Connor? Do you uh, have this in, in your PC? The flagship. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Carpies? CGC. SGC sells good. Just don't don't put them in auction. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that. Uh, here, there's your top scrum. Okay. Do you like uh, SGC or PSA, Connor? Uh, this is the black. Okay. Well, here's the black, uh, Lizardo to 69. You can have this one, Connor. Um, I'll just send it to you. So just contact me on Instagram. It's, uh, and I'll ship this one to you. Here, I'll, 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 I'll put it aside for you. Um, next, Mano. This is this is one I had as a seven. Came back a six. Silver.
That's the uh, LeBron silver. That's sick. Okay, there's a there's a story behind this one. Let's see. Uh, it was a PSA six that I. <laughs> okay, this card has a long story. This was a Beckett seven. Snapped it out. I said it, it looks like a seven. Sent it to PSA. They gave it a six. I was like, no, it's a seven. Snapped it out. <laughs> Sent it to SEC. It's a six. So I don't know. It it's got amazing eye appeal and it looks. These top old tops cards. Those were made for the tucks. I mean, they they look great in there. Yeah, just have uh, Bobbles. Yeah, I'll just contact Bobbles and we'll get that shipped out probably Monday. Uh, Flea or Ken? Yeah, that 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 maze looks great. So Flea or nine five. So these Flea or Kens, my uh, expectations are nine nine five or ten. Don't don't not really looking for eight fives on these. So so here's a nine. Yeah, man, no problem. I've <clears throat> All right, Donruss Kens. I've actually had a lot of success with these. Uh, this is a nine five. So so I got to get these in perfect fit still. But there's a nine on the Donruss and the. Um, here's a titanium LT. It's a thicker patch, but it's got a little print, 75. Uh, no, you don't have to give me anything. 75 LT. All right, this is shaky. Bonds, Don Russ, and an 8.5. Honestly, this is a this is a great copy. SGC is deadly accurate and deadly tough on these older cards. So if, you, if you're looking to send in your 70s and 80s, I mean, come, come prepared. A little tougher than PSA, I'd say. <clears throat> and then I think with the modern, they're about the same as PSA. They give a, I mean, they give a, a lot, of, a lot of uh, leeway. Griffey glossies, I don't, I don't think there is. This is one that I just, I don't know. I just, I was feeling uh, jumpy, and I just tossed this in an SGC. It's a flare, Frank Thomas. Okay, this is Devers. This is the red jersey. This is the SP, not the SSP. So I I bought this raw for like ten bucks or something. They look good. Acuna, this card's jumped up. Um, how's the picture quality? It looks a little fuzzy. Oh well, it's it's not gonna be perfect. Acuna in a ten. Um, there's your Albies. That's flagship ten from 2018. If you break this product. These two are, are right next to each other, and almost at, like every time you pull one, you'll pull the other. So, uh, weight will be coming up in future orders, but I don't I don't have any weight um, in this order. Here's a Charles. Yeah, eighty-seven Donruss is impossible. Here's a ho um, hockey card, Patrick Kane. This is he's my favorite hockey player. Four ninety nine. Sweet card in the tux here. This is O two, tradition peppers nine five, and then uh, Bellinger. This is the uh, what's PSA call it? Hands up or something? I don't know. There's a ten. Uh, the the Acuna was BCP one twenty seven. Turn around time. 60 days business. I don't I don't get my stuff back fast like like Bobbles does. I think Bobbles works there secretly or or he owns the company. Um here's update bets. This is the gold. This is sweet 95 on that. Certain cards look cool in in these slabs. Some I don't like as much, but that one looks cool. Um, more 87s. Uh, looking for at least 9s on these, but it's tough. Hey, what's up, Bobbles? <laughs> there it was. I had to throw that in. And an 8.5, so not that great. But uh, this set, along with 87 Donrust, some of the toughest. Pacific, uh, Yelich, or Bellinger. I mean, I like Yelich more as a player, but as a card investment, I'd go Bellinger because he's younger and he's his stats have compiled more. But that's just okay. This is the star rookie Peyton. 
That's sick in a 9.5. Get that pup. Flagship Yordan 10. I mean, these are pretty easy. This one's got a bad corner. It was sitting in my uh, PC for a while. Two thousand four tops, Fitzy. Is it streaming over dial up? I don't know, is it is it slow? I don't know what's going on. Uh Bryce Harper, eight five. Here's a Cunha. Yeah, it's <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm at my office. I don't know why it would be slow. Um Nathan McKinnon, nine five. That's the uh, young guns. Devers Action nine five. Here's your SPX Manning. And an eight. Vlad Heritage. Would uh, SGC 10s convert to PSA 10s? Yeah, I mean, PSA doesn't grade this modern stuff hard at all. There's a 10. That is the Jordan Gold. Here's uh, 82 tops, Cal Ripken, and an 8. Bellinger, that's the Heritage. All right, are you guys just trolling me because I said uh, I was worried about the connection or something? Because <laughs> if, if it's that bad, I'm just going to stop the video and I'll just do it offline. Uh, 98 top scrum. That's the Peyton and a 9. That, that, that card shot up. Okay. Maybe I'm getting trolled. I don't know. Um, SP Authentic. That's the future watch. Quantum Leaf. That's a. Uh, I've I've been selling these close for close to one hundred dollars in a PSA nine. So this one, will Jump to the store. You got a Cunha Heritage High. Okay. I'm just going to keep on going through it then. 87 Fleer Bonds and a 9. Here's your Harper Heritage Action in a 10. That's 2020. Pretty cool photo there. This is some junk wax I just pulled from a box. It looked pretty good. I don't know what this is worth. Maybe 20. Well, it's probably worth a decent chunk in an SGC 9.5. All right. Here we go. Oh, let's show this one. This is inspired by uh, Blue Jack 66. It's a uh, cons, cons wieners. <laughs> and it's authentic. I, I don't know if it's cut or something, but it's a 65 cons Pete Rose. So I'm gonna put that in the store. And that and in, that's an interesting one. I snuck that in. Yeah, it's a cool little card. This is a very uh generous grade on this one. <clears throat> a little white on that back corner. Can you guys see that? But they gave this Lamar a ten. 
Hey, what's up, Currency? Uh, John Morant. The Optic 9.5. That's the, the base optic. Here's Zion 9.5 optic. That one's got fantastic centering, this one. This is a pretty big card, probably. I, I bought this raw for, I think, 200 bucks. This is the hardcore, 799 Yeah, I'm, I don't think that... I, I thought that Jackson looked like a 9. SGC, I think the more people get used to the the uh, flip, the more they like it. Uh, you didn't miss that much. This is one I that I had as a 10, and that came back 9.5, so... Still pretty good there. That's a that should that should be a big card. It's the uh, certified auto from '98. Peyton. Flagship Jordans. Yeah, I would never pay a huge premium for like a PSA or SGC 10 on Prism. I'd I'd buy a nine every time. Tatis ten, Chrome. Um, this is a big card. Heritage Action Acuna. <clears throat> Let's look at the sign. Yeah, pretty worthy example there. Here's another one of these ones. Uh, baseball's best Griff. It's a nine. Here's some nice shine, Eli 04. That's the refractor. 53 tops, Jackie. Nice. Graded prism won't be worth anything. Here's another flagship Jordan. I sent five or six of these in. Uh, Lamar score base and uh, 9 5. Next time I do one of these, I'll uh, post like a like schedule or whatever for like a, a a day in advance. I don't know. Here's a sweet one. Derek Derek Thomas score rookie in a nine five. Does that card not look look awesome in the tux or what? Look at that pup. This is a good cow. This is the gold. To 99. Cal stuff's creeping up, I think. It's 07 SPX. Uh, this one I had as a 9. They gave it a 10. This is the, the 2007 Refractor from Finest of LeBron and a 10. I bought this raw for like 50 bucks. Tatis 9.5 flagship. Um, this is a sweet card. 9-5 in this Ultimate Collection. Calvin. 07. That's filth. Here's your 9-5 Bowman Ken. I don't think I got any 10s on the Kens in this one. But I got some 9-5s, which is awesome. It's a 9-5 Ken. It's another Derek Thomas scoring a 9-5. That one's a little off top to bottom. Um, still an awesome example, though. Pretty big card here. Peyton Manning, Bowman rookie. That's a 10. Your Albies Prospect Auto, 9.5. is a big card too. Vintage stock. That's the 99. Uh, here's Upper Deck Premier. Oh, did it from Top Scrum last year or what? Here's another flagship Jordan 10. Prism's overproduced. Yeah, but when everybody wants it, it doesn't really matter. 
how much they print when everybody wants it. Like, have you seen the populations on like Zion Prism? There's a ton of those graded already, and uh, look what they're selling for. Just doesn't matter. <coughs> Here's uh, gold. Yeah, go ahead and boot that. Boot that guy. Um, 2020. Here's your gold. Here's a refractor of LeBron, 2006-2007. This is a sweet one. Cool insert from 97 Ultra. That's the Griffey Hitting Machines, 9.5. And here is the flagship FLIR LeBron in a 9. PSA or SGC, both. <clears throat> Here's a gold, another Jordan gold that looked good. I, thought, I, I think I had this at 9+. plus. All right, th this card's spiking, guys. I think PSA 10s are going for over 300 now, so it's the wave of the future David Ortiz from 97. This one got a strong uh, <laughs> PS uh, SGC 10. <laughs> All right, this is a really good grade. This set's impossible. I think he's the first card in the uh, set, if you break these. This is 1990 Donruss, best of the AL. So that's a tough card, guys. Beautiful. Flagship Fleer LeBron James rookie. Pick these up for like 25, 30 bucks last fall. Maybe 40. 9.5 on this one. Yeah, I sent in some nice, really nice copies that I came across. So, uh, I don't know. This card's probably 600 bucks or something now. Here's Zion Optic 9.5. Here's another flagship Gore in a 10. This set's pretty easy. Okay, so the uh, 1980s... Yeah, the 1980s cards are tough. But this Steve Young did well. I mean, this is very respectable. 8-5 on this one. The top's rookie. That's sick. I'm going to keep that in the PC. 91 Ultra Brett Favre. <clears throat> Pretty good. Yeah, that 80 tops is impossible. Uh, Tatis is your chrome. Yeah, I've sent in some rices. I think I got seven and seven five when I sent rice in. Uh, Pasternak. Future watch in a 10. That's sick. This card's jumped up a lot. Junk wax insert ripping. That's the uh, hot gloves. Hot gloves ripkin. Uh, moss. I'm gonna put some of these in the store. Probably not till Monday. Here's your moss. Yeah, hockey's awesome. Bobbles is right on hockey. Um, Bichette gold. This is a nine five. Pretty good there. This order is all this order is all over the place with sport and card values. It's kind of why I like sending to SCC. You just grab grab any card you want and ship them all together. This is a big card. Um, this is out of three hundred. This is the second year Bowman Chrome. A actually, it's third year uh, LeBron Refractor to three hundred. This got an eight five. I'll I'll probably snap this and try for a PSA nine. Just see what happens with that card. Um. Here's your Ultra Manning 9.5. Yeah, hockey's awesome. Heritage High Soto 9.5. So this will sell a PSA 9, I think, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is an impossible set.
This is a snap out. Look at this. This was a PSA 9 snap out. See how it's off center left to right? So I, I wouldn't ever expect this to be a 10, but it's a nice 9. And cards like this just look amazing in the uh, tux. Acuna, uh, they gave this one a gold. I forgot about that. I don't know what this is worth. Probably a couple, probably a hundred, maybe a couple hundred. SCC, yeah, they are backed up. Your option is PSA. You can give the five or six month way to try or Beckett. I don't even know what they do. Here's Zion, but I think uh, SGC is getting more caught up. Uh, that's an optic Zion. Here's a LeBron. This is the blue velocity. 9.5 on the blue velocity. Uh, two more boxes, so we're getting down. Gold labels. Yeah, card's got to be perfect for me to keep it or else I just sell it. <clears throat> if it says pristine, it should be pristine, right? That's a cool Ripken. This is a tough, you know, tougher set. But the 82 traded and an 8. See, you see that little surface thing? Most of them have that. Some's worse than others. Flagship Dev, uh, Raffi. Yeah. Hockey's tough to find. Here's a Brett rookie. <laughs> this is random stuff mixed in. A 6. Um, I didn't send this thinking it was going to be a like, high grade. I thought it was a 6-5. I sent it because I thought the centering was pretty good. So overall, it's got the eye appeal. Here's a LeBron star rookie. Um, 9.5 on that one. That's awesome. This was probably bought recently, so I, I didn't get it for 50 bucks like I used to, but maybe two two fifty. <clears throat> Second traded. Let's Cardi see. Cardi, see, we'll uh, have to find a time to do the uh, interview. 8-5. Here's a Heritage High Cunha 10. Love this card. I, th I think it's got awesome eye appeal, so don't get caught up in the actual grade. But it's because it's got, like, this is one of the cards where I'd say this card looks fantastic. But technically... It's not going to grade well because it's got a little crease right there that, that doesn't really take away from the card much. But this is a 3-5 Rose. This is my favorite Pete Rose card. I like the 65 too. I don't really like the 63. Uh, Star Rookie Time. This one got a 10. That's that's a big card. So I sent, I think, two, of the, two Star Rookies in this order. And I had them marked at 9-5. And I think 10, so they, they graded them exactly what I thought they'd be. Yeah, that's that that's that uh rose is the kind of vintage that I like to collect too. Here's a nine soto. Yeah, that's a that's a smoke show LeBron right there. <clears throat> See, this is another mantle that looks great. Now technically it's not gonna grade well, it's got some little paper lost there and it's got some tough uh corners but a four or five on the 63 with with it's centered like 50 50 here's your peyton manning finest nine had a couple of those um flagship tatis pretty good there with the 10 this is a card that i'm going to hold on to this one's going to go up this is the the rookie authentics, eight ninety nine sweet patch nine five on Gore thicker card stock. So I sent to SGC PSA. I don't know what they're doing with their thick cards. They're like everything's graded like a grade to a grade and a half lower than it should be. Uh, tradition, LeBron tradition nine five. That's filthy. Hey, what's up, Joey? Um. This one I'm going to snap out because I actually had this as a 9 and it got an 8. So, I mean, it's not perfect, but I'm going to try this one at uh, PSA. Try for an 8.5 or so. Hmm. That's that's the action. Uh, 2018 Action Devers. That's a 10. 
This is your purple hot box refractor of Otani. 9-5 on that. Lamar score, 9-5. And then another Steve Young. I think it's a rookie again. Um, so 86 top, Steve Young. I think this one did bad. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of pathetic. 6-5 on this one. Um, so I don't know. I, I think I was thinking 7-5 on that Young. But those are worth a lot in high grade, which it's tough to get. Last box. Okay, I'll show this card real quick. Ricky, this was a PSA nine. I snapped out because I thought it might. I thought it would be a nine five, but I was wrong. I guess eight five. So you don't always win. All right, last box. Uh, flagship Bichette's. <clears throat> most of those are pack pulled. Albie's Paper. This is a card that most people wouldn't bother sending in, but I thought it was a 10. Got a 9.5. Um, second Wave of the Future. Here's your upper deck Vinch, 9-5 on Breeze. This is the refractor. These are off-centered and they have little uh, dimples on most, so I think a 9 is pretty good. That's the uh, Heritage High refractor, 569 print. Um, flagship Albies in a 9-5. Here's the Acuna Action. And a 9, so we saw a 10. This one's off center, top to bottom, so that's pretty fair. Grade right there. Another Bichette gold. All right, man, have a good weekend. There's the Bichette gold and a 10. Uh, Portis. Yeah, Bobbles. What's up with that order? 1,300 cards. That's epic. <clears throat> Here's Roth, pristine, and a 10. Top Chrome Vlad. This is cool, this is the SP one, walking with bat. Here's a Breeze Auto. This, this one got graded higher than I thought it would. I thought it was like a nine, eight, five. Uh, certified auto nine five from two thousand one. That's on card too. College uniform one. Um, this is actually my friend's card. It's the Sapphire Vlad nine five. Put that one aside. Okay, this is a sweet card. This is the uh, the Independence Day Vlad. This is fire. This was pathetic. Elway in a 7.5. That's the 86 top. So, I mean, that, that's that. It's tough. Uh, let's do this one. A couple Peyton Manning Bowmans. Actually, this first one's Bowman Chrome Preview. And then Flagship Bowman, Mint 9. Top Chrome, 8.5. Here's the SP pointing in a 10. Here's your Albies paper in a 10. This is the SSP hand on helmet in a 9.5. Portis, this is the upper deck graded auto to 250. Last card of the order. Master Strokes Griffey, 96, 95 or 96. That's sick. Yeah, 96 leaf in a 10. So um saw some older baseball in this order. But huge stack of slabs here. Um
let's see. It's like 160. So there's the stack of SGC slabs there. So I'll, I'll put a lot of this in the store if you guys want to try to win it. Or Probably not going to do the auctions anymore. I think the auction market's cooled off a lot. Stuff's selling really low. I think Bobbles is right. You sell at auction, a lot of the time you're just selling low. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, I'm going to get this uploaded so you can watch it archived. And hopefully the picture isn't <laughs> pathetic. Because if it is, I'm just going to take the video down. So. That's it, guys. Have a good weekend. I'm out.